Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, starting with part A, we can find the equation of both lines that go through this point that are tangent to the parabola y is equal to x squared plus x. So first of all, if we want to find the slope of these lines, we can slightly look at this. We know that it goes through the point 2, negative 3, and for any point that it's actually touching the parabola, if we're plugging in just some random x, then the y value of that point is going to be x squared plus x. And therefore the slope, it's going to be the change in y, so x squared plus x minus negative 3, so plus 3, over the change in, so the change in y over the change in x, which is x minus 2. And we know this is, this is the slope of the, of the tangent line, which is also going to be equal to the derivative. And the derivative for this function calculating it, we have a power function, so you bring down the exponent. New exponent, the old one minus 1. Same thing here with x to the first power, bring down the exponent. Old exponent minus 1. So this is equal to 2 x to the first power is just x plus 1 x to the zeroth power is 0. Or sorry, x to the zeroth power is 1, so 1 times 1 is 1. So x squared plus x plus 3 over x minus 2 is equal to 2x plus 1 over 1. Why did I put it over 1? Because it doesn't change the value, and then we can cross multiply. 2x plus 1 times x minus 2 is equal to 1 times x squared plus x plus 3. Now, if we do this, we can solve for x, and then we'll get the points that are the actual tangent points for this parabola. So foiling out, we get 2x squared minus 4x plus x would be minus 3x minus 2 is equal to x squared plus x plus 3. From here, if we bring everything over to one side, everything on the other side, this side will cancel. We get x squared minus 4x minus 5. And if this is equal to 0, this is pretty easy to solve. Factoring this out, we need multiples of negative 5 to add to negative 4. Well, that's going to be negative 5 and positive 1. Therefore, x minus 5 is equal to 0, or x plus 1 is equal to 0. x is therefore equal to 5, or x is equal to negative 1. These are the x values of the points. What are the y values? Well, y, if you can still see that, which you can, y is going to be equal to x squared plus x, which in this case is 5 squared plus 5 which is equal to 25 plus 5 is equal to 30. For this one, x squared plus x is negative 1 squared minus 1, which is equal to 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. So, for one of our equations, we are going to have the points 2, negative 3, because again, that's going through both of these lines, and then 5, 30. For the other one, we have 2, negative 3, and 1, negative 1, 0. Now we have, for each of these equations, we have two points, so we can solve for the slope and then find the y-intercept. First, the slope of this line. It's going to be a change in y, 30 minus negative 3, over the change in x, 5 minus 2. 30 minus negative 3 is the same as 30 plus 3, which is equal to 33, over 5 minus 2 is 3, so the slope is equal to 11, y is equal to 11x plus b, if we just want to, I still need room for b, but if we put that right here, you can still see that, y is equal to 11x plus b, if we plug in this point, we can solve for b, negative 3 is 11 times 2 plus b, Negative 3 is 22 plus b. Subtract from 22 both sides. Again, we're plugging in 2 for x and negative 3 for y. We get b is equal to negative 25, which makes the equation of this line y is equal to 11x minus 25. Okay, so that's our first equation. The second one hopefully is a little bit easier. m is equal to the change in y, so 0 minus negative 3. For the change in x, negative 1 minus 2. So this is 0 minus negative 3 is 0 plus 3 is 3 over negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So that's going to be equal to negative 1. So y is equal to negative x, negative 1x, negative x, same thing, plus b. If we are 
plugging in this point right here, we have a zero is equal to negative, negative one plus b. If we have this up here, we have zero equals negative one times negative one is one plus b. Subtracting negative one on both sides, we get negative one is equal to b. So if we write this in here, we know it's y equals negative x plus b, which is negative one, so minus one. And this is our other equation. So we have the two equations here. Now we're asked, why is there no line through this point that is tangent to the parabola? So let's start to go through the same process. We don't have to do this whole thing because we'll start to see why this isn't possible. So doing the same thing right here, except this time we have 2, 7, and then the same point x, x squared plus x. The slope this time is going to be x squared plus x minus 7, the change in the y, over x minus 2, the change in the x. We're saying this is equal to the slope 2x plus 1 over 1. We're going to do the similar cross multiplying. Um, I'm just going to do this over here so we don't run out of room. We get x squared plus x minus 7 equals 2x plus 1 times x minus 2. So keeping this the same and flowing this out, we have 2x squared plus x minus 4x is minus 3x minus 2. So we have x squared plus x minus 7 equals 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. If we bring everything over like we did with the last problem. Minus x squared minus x plus 7. Everything over here cancels. We get 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5. If this is all set, then we will notice here that we are being told that there is no line. So there should be no solutions to this equation. Now, how would we go about solving that? Well, we could go through this and we could do this. We can factor it out and try and find the factors and realize that there's none. Or you can say, look, we can find the determinant of this quadratic equation and if that is less than zero, then we know that there's no solutions, and therefore we can go through this whole thing if there's no line that is going to be tangent to the problem. So if we have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero in the traditional form of the parabola, the determinant is the thing under the square root in the quadratic formula. So b squared minus 4ac, right, remember. And in this case, it's going to be negative 4 squared minus 4 times, there's an imaginary one there for a, times five. Negative four squared is 16, minus four times one times five is four times five is 20, which equals to negative four. The determinant is less than zero, therefore there are no solutions, therefore there is no line through the point two seven that is tangent to the parabola. So in conclusion, we found both of these lines that are tangent to the parabola that go through this point, and we showed why there aren't any that go through this point. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.